what up guys today we're gonna look at how much money bethesda threw down the toilet in the way of refunds to their broken buggy and busted pc version of dishonored 2. we can use basic statistics and some simple assumptions to come up with a rough estimate in actual dollars as of november 21st roughly 42.7 percent of dishonored 2's steam reviews are negative I got that figure by simply dividing the negative reviews by the total reviews for a simple average. Assuming that most people are rational human beings, it's safe to say that most of these individuals refunded the game. It's not that they just had a bad experience and turned off the game, but they actively went out of their way to spend time to write a review and post it so that others could see their opinion of the game. We know most players that are that passionate most certainly know about the Steam refund policy, both in the fact that they can get their money back now, and more importantly, they can repurchase the game at a later date if they want to. So we can definitely put a number on this by confidently assuming that most rational people who buy a product that they don't like, and who take the time to review it, will more than likely refund the game. So let's suppose that 60% of those rational human beings refunded the game, which I can say is definitely on the low end. After all, what logical human being would keep a broken product like that that they themselves paid for? Now let's apply those figures to the total PC sales of Dishonored 2. Remember, not everyone who bought the game reviewed it, and not everyone who refunded the game reviewed it either. It's been reported by various outlets that Dishonored 2 has sold about a fourth of the amount of copies the original Dishonored did during its launch. Dishonored's launch garnered Bethesda 460,200 copies sold, and one-fourth of that is 115,050. Assuming that the PC market accounts for about 30% of the total sales, that leaves 34,515 copies sold on the PC platform, or $2 million of Dishonored 2 PC profit. Now, if 42.7% reviewed the game poorly, and 60% of those individuals refunded the game, that means that 8,697 copies were refunded at a rate of $60. Dishonored 2 lost $521,866. Doesn't sound like a lot of money to a huge publisher, but I can confidently say this is a very low-end estimation given our assumptions of how many people refunded the game. This speaks to a bigger issue, poisoning the gaming community, cash grabbing and releasing unfinished games. It's unethical, and we shouldn't trust these companies with their hard-earned money when they pull this kind of nonsense. And if you want to learn more about the fiasco of Dishonored 2's launch, just click on this video now on your screen. In the future, I encourage everyone to be diligent in your research and never pre-order games, as it only increases the chance that you'll be hurt by these practices. After all, you are the target demographic for cash grabbing if you're the one pre-ordering your games. And before we sign off, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's hopped on board the Downward Thrust bus. We just hit a thousand subs yesterday and that's totally awesome. I can't wait to hit 10,000 or 100,000 someday, but whatever the number is, just know that I'm going to keep releasing this awesome quality content for you guys totally free, so make sure to stay in tune with Downward Thrust. And if you haven't already subscribed, jump on board the bus and have a kick-ass day, dudes.